Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with PressureCleaningSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, uh, since we did a couple of videos on enclosed trailer rigs, I've had quite a few requests about showing our uh, open trailer rigs. And so I'm going to go through this open trailer rig that we have here coming up next. So this is the open trailer that we build. We've built a few of these in the last couple of months for guys. Just haven't advertised them much. Um, we stay pretty much as busy as we want to be um, building rigs like this. Uh, but if you saw the enclosed trailer rigs that I did, I did kind of uh, promote those because we do just wanted people to know that we do enclosed trailers too. Um, but this is basically the same equipment on this open trailer that we did in the enclosed um, with the, you know, exceptions of a couple of things. The, the open trailers are always easier builds because there's not as many plumbing issues because it's not enclosed. But um, this has got the nine gallon per minute Mad Max. Um, and then we've got the 10 gallon per minute King Slinger on it. This is actually my personal trailer. Uh, that I use when I need to go out on jobs. Um, the guys use the truck skid mounted unit, but um, all of this equipment we can put on us on a truck skid, enclosed skid, or um, open trailer like this. And this is basically I just try to keep things simple, guys. Um, I don't. I'm not a big fan of 12 volt electric pumps. There's just too many things that co can go wrong with electrical wiring. Um, the pumps, just all that kind of stuff. I like to keep things simple, things that we can, you know, that we can depend on day in and day out. I've had 12 volt. I've had water boosters. I've had the gas powered machines. I've had them all twice. And I've always just come back to these air diaphragm pumps and um, just absolutely love them. But again, this has the nine gallon per minute pressure washer that you can see up front. And then the orange uh, compressor unit is the King Slinger 10 gallon per minute soft wash unit. And there you see the hose that is on the uh, storage compartment there for the soft wash system. And then we do add these uh, storage bins on both sides if people want them. That's an, that's an option that we can add so you can keep your gallon buckets or guns or wands or whatever in there so that um, they're safe and out of the way and uh, just makes a make it makes a great little storage area of space that was not being used and just comes in really handy. One of the things that we do on the sides is we kind of incorporate a moving billboard and uh, to give you a little you know marketing advertising off of the trailer um, and we kind of incorporate that with the ladder rack there. You can see the ladder rack um, is part of the billboard system. And uh, one of the things that's neat and great about this ladder rack is the ladders are very easy to access. You don't need a ladder to get your ladder. Um, they're very easy to grab and just pull right off of the trailer. Um, and then as well as putting them back. So, I always recommend when you're advertising your, your business on a trailer or truck like this that you keep it simple and make sure that what you are doing stands out more than anything else. And of course, your contact information. People these days just love taking pictures. And so they'll take a picture of this. And if they can see it easily when they're scrolling, trying to find it, um, that is, is just going to help them find you much easier, but um, you can have whatever you want want put on there. We just build the billboard and you can get your own signage company to get your signage that you want on there. Or if you want us to do that, we can do that as an option too. But it's just a really neat way to both advertise your company as well as um, a ladder rack that is very functional and very easy to use. And uh, like I said, <laughs> You know, I see so many truck skids and trailer skids these days that are built that you just almost have to have a ladder in order to get your ladder. And that's not the case with uh, this trailer system. 
Hey, as always, don't forget, if you're getting value out of this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications every time I come out with a video. Thanks so much for watching. Most importantly, please leave a question, leave a comment. If I can help you in any way, just love helping you new guys getting started in this business. Thanks so much for watching and here's more of the video. Now, as we move to the back, we've got um, two Titan reels, one up top, which is for the pressure hose, um, for the pressure washer. And then the bottom, we've got the green flexilla garden hose. I always suggest, by the way, guys, that when you uh, stack your reels and you're putting your hose on to put your garden hose on the bottom. And uh, the reason being is you're always going to roll that out first to get those water tanks, um, that water tank filled. Um, and so when you do that and then you roll the pressure hose out, you always want that pressure hose on top of the green hose so or the water hose so that as you're working around the property, it's not going to get tangled up. The blue hose, pressure hose always slides over the top of the green hose so um that's the two reels we can of course make them electric if you wanted um lots of options you can do there we can also move the soft wash hose down and put it next to these reels but there is a little storage hook um right to the right there that you can see my uh there's another green garden hose that we use for uh wash downs or filling buckets or whatever um so <clears throat> that's why we have the soft wash hose up where it's at instead of down next to the Titan reels. It just makes uh, a little more functionality and being able to reach in uh, to the trailer from there if we need to. Now, as we look from the back here, you can see uh, the back view of it. We've got our two 85 gallon tanks. The one on the left is for uh, the bleach, the one on the right is for the water. Um, and so the bleach feeds the Kingslinger, that 10 gallon per minute soft wash system. Uh, we also downstream out of it. We just add our soap to the tank instead of metering soap. I just don't, again, you guys have heard me say, I just don't see the need to meter soap. So we just add it to the bleach tank. And then the, uh, so we're actually downstreaming out of the bleach tank. And we also have a downstream hose hooked to the water tank for our uh, remote system, which I'll show you here in a minute. But these are great tanks. Um, they're 85 gallon tanks, which are perfect size. They're vertical, um, a little bit beefier than the 55 gallon ones that are out there. We've had a couple of those and they end up cracking. They're just kind of very thin walled. These are a little bit thicker. And uh, I'm just absolutely loving these tanks. And then we've also uh, that little hose hanging off to the left, right behind the surface cleaner. That's the hose that we use to fill our bleach tank. So uh, when we back up to my barn to fill the bleach, um, that's how we fill it instead of having to open the cap. And then, of course, on the bleach tank, we also have the vent hose coming off of it. So we never have to get into the trailer except for maybe to add a little soap every now and then. Um, and it just makes the whole trailer last longer. The fumes aren't coming out of the top of it every time you open it up to fill it. And uh, that's what really causes rust on trailers and truck skids is not having your... Uh, a, not having your tank vented and B, um, not being able to fill uh, other than, you know, having to open the tank and stick your hose in there and fill it that way. Because when those gases and fumes start coming out of the top of that, that's what attacks your trailer and causes a lot of rust. And, and not only on the trailer, but your equipment, um, just pretty much everything. So always make sure you've got your... Uh, bleach tank vented as well as try to set it up so that you don't have to open the tank. Ours fills from outside the tank through a drop tube into the tank that goes all the way to the bottom. So when there is soap in there, we're not overflowing with suds coming out of the top of the uh, tank. So uh, then we've got a spot there for our surface cleaner, 24 inch little big guy. And then we've got a rack there um, right behind that that can hold five gallon buckets, um, X jet buckets, and as well as our little pump sprayers 
as needed. So that's the back side of it. And again, you can see the ladder rack um, right there. Very easy to grab the ladders, put them back on. Very, very functional. Um, just a great little trailer system. And again, we can also put this on a truck skid, all of this equipment on a truck skid if needed. One of the other things that we do on these open trailer builds, if the client requests it, and normally they do, it's a little bit tougher on enclosed trailer builds, but right behind the pressure washer and below the uh, remote control box is an aluminum square box. That's our 16, 17 gallon uh, gas tank. We actually have that plumbed directly to the pressure washer as well as the Kingslinger soft wash system. So uh, we don't have to use one of those smaller like uh, boat type gas tanks uh, for the pressure washer. And then we also do not have to use the small little gas tank that's on the Kingslinger because um, we just feed both of these machines from the same gas tank and we never have to carry a gas can um, this lasts us, you know, on an average about two to three uh, days, depending on that, you know, how many jobs we're doing, how long the days are or whatever. But it's just a really nice added feature that when and we've got the gas tank on the same side as the truck. So when we pull up to fill the truck up, all we have to do is, is pull the trailer up a little bit and fill the gas tank up. Very easy um, process and it just saves a lot of time. And not having to carry, carry gas cans around is just always a plus. So that's another thing we do. That's an added option um, if folks want that. And uh, I just absolutely love it. And uh, as I mentioned before, this is the remote control box that we use for downstreaming. This allows us to turn our bleach uh, on and off, um, going from applying bleach to rinsing. Say you're at the back of the house, you no longer have to walk back towards uh, the truck um, to change your ball valve on your down, you know, bypass downstream injector or some other methods um, of going from bleach to rinse. This is the best down, uh, remote system that I've ever used. I've had many different ones. I even looked at building one myself to sell them. Um, and the solenoids just never really lasted more than three months, if that, some, sometimes occasionally six months. But um, I had, a, and in fact, I had given up on uh, downstream remote systems until I got this shirts box. And um, they're a little pricey. They run about 600 bucks, I believe. But man, uh, you use it a couple of times and it's paid for itself because uh, often jobs, we don't have to have two, two guys like on a house wash. Um, one guy can go out there and do it with a remote and get done pretty quick. Um, <clears throat> just saving a lot of time walking back and forth to the truck. So that's the remote system. And then we also have a check valve that's off of our downstream injector. Um, and that just makes the downstream injector, helps it to last longer, also provides you a little bit stronger mix. We downstream, you know, 80% of the time. Uh, really the only time we use the Kingslinger soft wash system is if we're cleaning a roof or we just run across a really uh, bad stucco house or brick house that just has a lot of that black algae that needs that stronger mix. And so downstreaming is definitely my favorite way to soft wash. Um, and we save the Kingslinger for just, you know, roofs or those times that we need it on exterior surfaces. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video of seeing the tr open trailer rig. I'll uh, got another truck rig and another trailer rig. I'll do some videos on in the future. But don't forget uh, PressureCleaningSchool.com. We've got a great online video school. If you're just starting a pressure washing or soft washing business, it'll drastically help you cut your learning curve. Um, and then, of course, we do the once a month hands on and classroom training both here in Houston once a month. So that's PressureCleaningSchool.com. And then if you need any products, uh, equipment, trailer builds, truck builds, whatever, um, DougRuckerStore.com. But best to just always email me at PressureCleaningSchool at gmail.com. Um, just tell, let me know you're a YouTube watcher. And then... Um, We'll get you fixed up and help you in any way we possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell. 
uh, give me a like, leave me a question or a comment, and I'll uh, be sure to respond to you. Thanks so much. And don't forget, by the way, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. That'll let you know when I've got uh, videos coming out that could be helpful to you. Make sure to leave a comment for me. Uh, give me a like. And uh, also, most importantly, as always, leave me a question if you have any questions about this rig or any of the components you see on it, how we use it. Um, the cost on it, I'll just tell you, is going to be anywhere from twelve to sixteen, seventeen thousand. You know, twelve on the low end, sixteen, seventeen on the high end, just depending on the options that you choose. Um, but you know, leave me some questions, and um, if I can help you, be glad to uh, be glad to do that for you. And uh, the remote box you can get at DougRuckerStore.com. Um, but if you have any questions, again, just leave a question here and. Uh, be glad to answer it for you. But any of these products, any of these machines that you see on here, we do have available at DougRuckerStore.com.